Oh, by the way, did you hear? Speaking of professional sports, Bud Sealing, the commissioner of Major League Baseball, did you hear this? They're going to launch an investigation to find out why blacks are not playing baseball. They want to find out, apparently, Major League rosters, they've done research out there, <clears throat> and they have found only 7.7% of Major League players are African American. There are a lot of Dominicans and uh, uh, Latin American players, but African Americans, 7.7%, uh, and there are some teams that don't even have one. And, of course, this is the anniversary year of Jackie Robinson breaking down the race barrier. And so they're all wringing their hands over this and launching an investigation to try to figure out why young African-Americans don't want to go play baseball. Why instead are they playing football or basketball? In a related study, the commissioner of the National Basketball Association has decided to study why a dwindling number of white guys play basketball. Only kidding about that. That is not happening. And the National Football League, Major League Baseball, the NBA, are none of them commissioning a survey to find out why so few Asians participate in their sports. Only Major League Baseball digging deep to find out why African Americans are choosing not to play baseball. And in the story on this, on the second page of the story, whoever writes the story, there is a theory espoused. And the theory is that with all the concussions happening in football, African Americans might all of a sudden decide to quit playing football and start playing baseball again. Now, there are probably a whole host of reasons why uh, African Americans aren't, aren't, aren't playing baseball. One would be Michael Jordan. Another would be Tiger Woods. They're all doing something else. Uh, Charles Barkley. I mean, the, the role models for young African Americans are not playing baseball. In addition to that, you can't just go out and play baseball. You've got to get a big field, and you got to go out, and you have to find somebody that's got a ball, and then you're going to lose that ball when somebody fouls it off into the gutter, or it's going to get dirty. And you got to find somebody, everybody's got to have a glove, everybody's got to have baseball shoes, they have a mitt, you got to find a diamond and all this. And it's and then you've got to find a reasonable number of guys that also have a bat, and also have access to gloves, that want to play with you. Basketball, you don't need anything. You need a ball, a hoop, and you can go out there by yourself and start shooting around. Football, you also need some other people, but you can just two guys out there toss a football around and and uh, and pretend. But baseball is a little bit more involved. I, I, I never forget when I kid was a kid playing baseball, we couldn't find diamonds. I mean, it was, every, every kid in the world played. It didn't matter. Uh, and we'd play with one ball until it was so dirty you couldn't see it anymore. Then we'd go to our parents and beg for a new baseball, and they always held out. We, we didn't get a new ball until the one we were playing with was either falling apart at the seams or just knocked lopsided. And then finding a diamond was tough. That's a small town, too, but, but finding a place to play was tough. But still, we did. But boy, getting a new baseball, you take it out of the box, you smell the rawhide. I was just the smell of a new baseball when you're a kid, and it's brand new, and it's white, and doesn't last long. And you go to your first major league game, and you go, how does every ball stay white? Why don't their balls get dirty in the big leagues? Then you learn there's 60 of them for every game. None of that seems to have any magic for kids. And I remember... Flying back to New York after a rush to excellence tour in the late 80s, early 90s, and we're in our arrival route over in New Jersey. And I'm looking, it's a Sunday afternoon in the spring or something, looking out the window, and there's countless baseball diamonds with nobody on them. 
And I was thinking how, as a kid, I would have killed for diamonds that look like that to play, not just some grass field where we had to mark off bases and so forth. We even played during the rain, and we did the rain-out business, and we had a guy whose dad gave us a fake tarp to put on our little field when it rained. We had our ground crew. We did the whole thing. I'll never forget it. And uh, my one of my first big, real crushes was not making the high school baseball team because I thought I was a lock. That was one of the greatest learning experience. I thought I was a lock. And I didn't make the first cut. And I went home and told my dad, I said, does a coach not like you or something? He says, hey, son, don't lay this off on me. You're the one that got cut. You're the one that may not be good enough. Did you try as hard as you should have? I said, thought I did. Anyway, who cares? 7.7 are choosing to play. Others aren't. So what? They're finding other things to do. You, you, I wonder, now I better not offer that as a partial explanation. Never mind. It may not just be baseball that young people are choosing not to engage in because there are other opportunities, including doing nothing. Well, tell me, what's the deal? What do you mean everybody knows the deal? I don't know what it is. Well, okay, okay. Is that what it is? Is that what it is? Are you are you giving me are you giving me the thought in, in young black neighborhoods? Is this what's Okay, here's what Snurdly is. Snurdly says uh baseball, that's 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 uh what'd you say, Latin American guys? Spanish guys play baseball. Football, black guys. Football or basketball, that's black guys, right? Hockey. Hockey's, hockey's white guys. Boxing is mostly Spanish guys now. So there's still some brothers in boxing. But so, so it's just the way it's evolved, and it ain't cool to play baseball because uh, the Spanish guys are playing. Okay, quick, I got to take a break. I just noticed. Back here in just a uh, ladies and gentlemen, I may as well go ahead and I, uh, uh, say this. Uh, my my getting cut, first day of tryouts, I don't even know if you call it getting cut. And you get cut after you make the team. Well, no, not really. I got cut. But it was the first day of tryouts. And I got, I didn't make it. And the coach told me, just to show you how things have changed, the coach told me that my style of baseball was uh, was white, white-style baseball, and it's not what he wanted. You know, President Obama had much the same thing. He, he claimed that uh, he didn't get to play much when he was in school in Hawaii because he played uh, black-style basketball and never got in a game because of that. Uh, coach is racist or something. In my case, I, I, I played white-style baseball. And the coach said it's just it wasn't what he was looking for.